All right, we are going to do how much TV, which is 1.3 expressions, um, in the directions we have reveal the frightening truth about how much you spend of your life of watching TV or watching videos. Our two inputs are going to be user's age and hours, and our output is going to be time and hours spent watching videos and time and days spent watching videos. We're going to convert between strings, floats, and integers. We're going to perform mathematical calculations and operations. And if you have time, take a look at the challenges. Challenge yourself to add something extra that is not from the video. All right, so in line 10, we're looking at get input, asking the user's age, then assign to the variable age. So I start with the word age, and then I'm going to do an equal sign. Now, I know it tells me to do input, but oddly enough, way down here, it's also telling me that person needs to be an integer and that hours needs to be a float. So I can either choose to do that way down here at line 25 or I can choose to do that right here. I prefer to do it right here so I'm going to go INT for integer parenthesis input parenthesis quotation mark Then I'm going to go how whoops how old are you question mark and then I'm going to go quotation mark parenthesis and notice that I leave a space here at the end so that my answer is not crammed against everything else. I need one more parenthesis. That way all parentheses have pairs. And by the way, these little uh, squares around the parentheses, when I click on them, that's just showing me that they're in pairs. So no, no big deal there. All right, next one, line 16 says, get input asking for the average number of hours per day. They spend watching videos, then assign to the variable hours. So we're going to go hours equals, and then again, it's telling me to go input first, but down here in these comments, it's telling me that hours needs to be a float. So I'm going to do that here instead of way down there. So I'm going to go float, parenthesis, input, parenthesis, quotation mark, and I'm going to say how, whoops, how many hours per day do you watch videos? Question mark, quotation mark, parenthesis, parenthesis. I need two because I have two openers over here. Now I'm going to test it. How old are you? 44. How many hours do you watch videos? Probably three. And so far so good, no bugs. Um, notice right here, I got my answer touching my question mark, which means I forgot my space right here at the end of line 16. Now we're down here in hours calculation at line 25. It says multiply the number of hours per day by the age of the person by 365. That's how many days in a year. Then we're going to assign the whole thing to total. So we're going to go total. Assign means equal. Math be math in here. So I'm going to go, uh, how am I going to do this? I think I'm going to go hours times day, nope, not day, age, hours times age times 365. And I think that's all I need, but I'm going to test it to be sure, make sure there's no bugs. How old are you, 44? I'm not going to see my answer yet. I just want to make sure I don't get any errors. Okay, so, so far, so good. Now let's do the print part. It says print hours spending time watching videos concatenate that with the total result and we are going to have to turn total into a string here. So I'm going to go print, print quotation mark, hours spent watching videos, colon, space, quotation mark, plus sign. I need to put total here but I've got to turn it into a string first. So str, parenthesis, total, and then I go parenthesis, parenthesis because I have starting here I have another one there. I've got to have two at the end. Now I'm going to test it again. How old are you? 44. How many hours? Three. And right there, hours spent watching videos, 48,180. That's a lot. Now down here at line 38, it says divide the total result by 24. That's how many hours are in a day to get how many days worth of time that is assigned to the variable days. So I start with the variable days equals, and I'm going to do some division here. So total 
Um, I feel like because I turned total right here into a string, I need to turn total back into an integer. So I'm going to go int parenthesis total forward slash to divide by 24 and then parenthesis again. Okay, so that turns total back into an integer, which will allow me to then do the math calculation, which means I am going to turn days into a string right here since days is now an integer as well because days is storing an integer. See how that works? Now we're going to print that's concatenate with days, concatenate with days, but I'm going to add a little to that um, last piece of string. So we're going to go print, print the quotation mark, that is, or that's, space quotation mark, plus sign, str, to turn string into days so that it will print, plus quotation mark, space, so that's, uh, whatever number it gives me, that's 400 days of your life, exclamation point, quotation mark, parenthesis. And let's test it. How old are you? 44. How many hours? Three hours spent watching videos. And that's 2,007 days of your life. That is a lot. That is a lot. Now, if I wanted to get a, um, a decimal, I could change this integer right here to float if I wanted to. Let's see how that changes my numbers. Order you 44, 3. And so now you'll see at the very end my answer includes a 0.5. So 2,007 and a half days of my life. All right, that is it. Turn it in.